Hello. What we're going to do is tie a variation of Lance Egan's Rainbow Warrior. Lance is a friend of mine, former teammate on Fly Fishing Team USA, and I've been using this pattern since 2005 when I first joined the team, even though I believe it was created long before that. But the original pattern was a pearlescent material with a red thread. What we're doing is because with the current high water conditions and the water is still slightly off color, we're going to tie a fly. It's an, this is an attractor pattern. By attractor pattern, I mean this does not represent anything specifically. It's just kind of, uh, it's a wild color. It's just, it's a flashier pattern. It's designed to attract, hence the name, attractor fish, especially in conditions like we're dealing with right now. Dirty, slightly turbid water. And the original pattern's color scheme of red is fantastic. But when I'm fishing dirtier off-color water, one of the things I like to do is I like to tie a fly, obviously, that has flash, which is pattern will, and as does the original. But I like tying flies that are a little bit darker. That darker color creates, I think, a better silhouette, especially in lower light or dirtier water conditions. And hopefully just allowing a fish to easy, more easily locate your pattern. And in the video that we're showing you on the fishing segment here, Trout have incredible visibility, even in low light and dirty water conditions. And with this pattern, I just find that a darker, kind of sometimes a flashier pattern is often all you need for those fish to locate in those conditions. So to get started, we have a size 14 hook, scud hook. It's a heavier wire, TMCO. You can use whatever materials are out there or hook brands. And we have a slotted bead. This is a silver bead, again, Silver, I think, reflects a little bit more light. So anytime I'm fishing sunny days or even in pocket broken water, I like using flashier patterns and also beads like the silver bead that can hopefully reflect a little bit more light. Sounds good in theory and it seems to work better for me. So we'll leave it at that. The thread that we're going to be using, and this is also part of our body, this is going to be a dark purple uni thread. For the tail, we're just going to tie in some darker pheasant tail fibers. Start right behind the bead and just wind down. And we're going to wind down about a third of the way down the hook shank. As we've always discussed in the past, the patterns I'm tying, incredibly simple. Very few steps. And for the body, the other part of the body is a large pearlescent flash material. We're going to lay that down and we're going to wind that down all the way down, a third of the way as well, down the hook shank, or down the bend. Now with this pearlescent material, we're going to wind this around the hook, and that's going to create our body. But before we do that, any of the thread that we're using, because this pearlescent material is translucent, it's going to show through. And again, the red color original is a great color, but for these darker water conditions, you can use a black, or in this case, just kind of a darker purple. So once we have our tie-in point here, the thread is wrapped up to the bead, we're just taking this tinsel. In every wrap, this is a wide tinsel. All we're gonna do is just go over the last wrap by half. So we're overlapping half of the last wrap all the way up, keeping nice tension, keeping this nice and straight. We're not twisting and turning. This one wrap right over, partially over the last one, all the way up to the silver bead. Once I wrap up to the bead, we're just coming from behind, switching hands, and taking my thread. I'm just gonna come in, just notice, just kinda of tuck that tinsel right in behind the bead. One wrap, again, remembering trying to reduce as many wraps as possible. Not a big deal with the size 14, but reducing these wraps when you get into the smaller sizes is gonna be critical to keeping a smaller silhouette. Now we're going to, once we secure that, we're going to fold that back flat and we're going to wrap back and secure that. And we're going to wrap back and just kind of build some purple right here. But we're going to go back about the same width right here. We're going to wind back about the same width as the flash material. Once you're done with that, the dubbing I'm using, this is a Yan Saman Peacock Dub in a black. Just a great material, shorter, stiffer fibers, makes excellent calling, collar material. And unlike ice dub, which I still use with some applications, it's a lot easier to dub. 
We're just gonna dub this on, and I'm not worried about making this ultra tight because at some point you can take a dubbing teaser or even after a couple fish hit this, their teeth will start pulling out these fibers, creating a little bit more leg movement. So I'm not worried about making this a little buggier, but we're just gonna make several wraps, just kind of build a little bump right there, kind of stack it on top of itself, taking your thread. Now we're gonna fold this tinsel straight over top. This is gonna be our flashback. Switching hands, and again, just kind of lock in that flash right in between the thorax and the bead. A couple wraps on the front side, securing that. And what I'll do as well is I'll leave a little bit of a f flap there. And if you want to, you can cut this down just a little bit. Just something I do. I just think it may reflect a little bit more light. Whatever, whether, whether it works or not, I don't know better, but you know, we, we come up with theories and ideas about what works better. And if we believe it works better, we often fish it better. And because of that, we catch more fish. So I like leaving just a little bit of a flap on some of my flashback patterns to create a little bit more. Uh, flashy kind of gaudiness and hopefully creating a, a better profile for that fish to find in these conditions. But there you have it. A very simple fly designed by a friend of mine, Lance Egan. This is just a dark purple version of the Rainbow Warrior. But